Hey guys, what is up, it's like here, coming at you with another video now, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a video on just the topic of PC building and how it's becoming less and less obtainable to the normal person and uh, we'll talk about this through multiple factors. Um, for a while we were in like the perfect PC building stage because, you know, parts are cheap, um, it's still easy to build, you know, a lot of people are doing it, and still, you know, a lot of people do build PCs, but it has become a lot less obtainable. Now, when I built my first PC, oh man, probably like eight some years ago, I bought all the parts, it was a gaming PC, and I built it for around $400, and at the time, it could run any game easily at 1080p, pretty much high, um, it never had any issues, with that type of stuff, you know, we kept a solid 60 frames per second, which is, I only had a 60 hertz monitor, so it really didn't matter anyway, um, so everything was good, you know, um, back even in like 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014 even, stuff was really, you know, you could easily get PC parts, PC parts were really cheap, um, you know, per, for performance wise, you know, obviously, you could always spend a bunch of money on a PC, but at the time you could build a good gaming PC for around the price is a next gen console, if not even cheaper sometimes depending on the deals that were going on. Nowadays to get a just a graphics card it's almost as much as a console and we're talking like an entry graphics card that was meant to be like a hundred dollar some card, we're talking is almost as much as a console itself now. So PC gaming is kind of going, I would say, backwards because of all like the uh, the miners that have bought all the GPUs and risen the GPU prices. You know, RAM's going crazy in price because of the NAND shortage um, we have, which is a big problem. So RAM and GPUs are extremely expensive right now. Um, SSDs are going down, so that's going to be kind of the new norm from now on. Less people are going to be buying mechanical drives when they can just buy SSDs. You know, a terabyte SSD is only probably about 200 bucks. Maybe, yeah, I think it's only about like 200 bucks or less at this point. So that's that's starting to go down storage, but you know, processors are still pretty much the same prices they was, they have always been, and I would say almost. That processors are getting better for how much you spend on them you know you can spend a lot less and get a lot better processor but obviously because a good processor a processor from even just a couple years ago is a pretty solid processor just for general use you know now so stuff like that's going down in price but things like you know like I said RAM and graphics cards some of the big factors in gaming are becoming very very hard to get now there are some decently saving graces even though ram is extremely pricey um if you do there are some good amd chips and even intel chips where the integrated graphics are pretty solid and you can run you know games at 1080p um most games at 1080p where you're fine it's not gonna be the best but you know that's probably where we're more at at this stage, you know, when I built my first PC, I had a graphics card, I everything, um, and it was only like 400 bucks, and it worked great, where now, if you'd want to get around that $400, probably $500 price tag, you'd have to get like one of the new Ryzen chips with the built-in Vega graphics, or maybe an i3 with built-in Intel HD graphics to try to play some of those games, which it's kind of unfortunate, you know, a lot of us know this is very unfortunate because we used to be able to build some crazy stuff for like even just a thousand dollars and now a thousand dollars gets you like a graphics card, RAM, and maybe a motherboard, maybe. So it's it's getting way too expensive for the average user. So hopefully I don't know when the prices will go down on GPUs. Um it's just the whole cryptocurrency boom really had a negative effect on all that and I'm not sure when they're gonna go down I don't know you know RAM that's just a temporary thing it'll be back to normal in probably like a year or so but NAND shortage that was a big one but the biggest problem I see in the future like PC gaming and such is 
definitely the whole um the whole gpu thing you know anyone can go get ram and stuff like this like a pc itself will still be a cheap endeavor to build but stuff like graphics cards and stuff like that you, you just can have a hard time finding them um and i don't i don't know when any of that stuff's gonna go down so i don't know but uh anyway guys thanks for watching <clears throat> let me know what you think down below when the gpus are gonna get cheaper and um stuff's gonna go back to normal um but yeah <coughs> <coughs> Oh, sorry guys. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you next video, guys. Peace out.